Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss the IT class seventeenth lesson, understanding power. What was that? Understanding power, right? In this lesson, understanding power, we you might be thought this is a B, but not it's a U, right? Understanding power. In this lesson, already we discussed what is mean by power, right? And how can we eliminate the poverty? I am already we discussed Mr. Ramachari and Chandraya, right? Ramachari and Chandraya. The so Ramachari is a different. He is a carpenter. He works and due to the modernization in the agriculture, so automatically it will affect and he will get the poverty, right? When it comes to Chandraya, he is a labor. He is a cot. Uh, he is a worker as a cot worker and he is doing the same work, but he is not taking the affordable food, whichever he has to be take. But this is also the felt in the disease, and he is also felt in the poverty, right? So when the people, when the people in the poverty, they are not getting the sufficient food, they has to be to get, right? This kind of the daily this hunger, daily this kind of the hunger made to the in the long time hunger that is we call the chronic hunger, right? That is we call the chronic hunger, right? But all these kind of they are why they are going to the poverty, but the Why? Because they are not getting the sufficient work, right? And the sufficient payment, right? If you get the work, you will get the payment. When you get the payment, then you will be uh, with the, your children and your the family, right? But when you don't have the work, you couldn't do the anything, right? You couldn't do the. We are not. We are the like animal. We are not an animal, right? We can't do the whatever we can. Uh, we can see and we can eat all those things, right? See, so that's why the government also take care of the. Then citizens. So, according to the directive principles, according to the directive principle, Article Forty One, Article Forty One says, right? To work, right? Right to work. When the people don't have getting any kind of the sufficient work, government has to take responsibility to provide their citizen to the right to. One right, the right to one. So instead of the giving any kind of the free right, if you give the and the unemployed, I am not getting any kind of the work. The government has to be the secure to me right. The government directly gives money. What will I do? I go to the any kind of the work. I go to the any kind of the productivity. I will simply take the money. Then I can use for the my whatever my uh, necessities and necessaries we have right. But instead of they are directly giving, government has to be provide work. That fella can go to the work and he will do the any kind of smart uh, smart work. Then he will get the pay. Then he will get the pay, right? So here, what kind of the not only the work, what kind of the other livelihood options we have? What do you mean by livelihood? Mean we have to be the living purpose. What kind of the options? What kind of the sources we have, right? In agriculture, we have. In we have industrialization, we have. In the we have the service sector, we have. This all this kind of in in agriculture you might be get the labor right you might be get the labor you can do any kind of the work in agriculture sector we have the man power is we need must without man power we could we couldn't do the any kind of agriculture we we'll get the modernized agriculture but still we need man power right for the man power agriculture purpose you need a labor you can do the labor but when it comes to industrialization it is a variety of the n number of the options will be right. You might be the keeper. You might be the any kind of the worker. You might be the any kind of the cashier. You might be the any kind of the technicians. Whatever we have, whatever we have, we have to do this kind of work, right? We have to do this kind of work. We have, but you need a kind of the technical. You need a kind of the any kind of the technical. You need any kind of the skill when you do the work in the industry sector. But when it comes to service sector, is the banking, is the insurance, and uh, this kind of the providing any kind of the uh, Services to the those who are the disabled people, right? Healthcare sector, right? We can simply say the healthcare sector. We have to this kind of opportunity, but you need a skill. You need a skill, right? But then what will happen? Those people don't have any kind of the skill. Then what will happen? You all are normal. Then some of them are done. No, the government has to take care of them also. Why? Because those who doesn't have any kind of the skill work for them, Papa. According to the forty one, government is provided them the manrega. Government is providing them the manrega. What is manrega? The government, the every person has to be worked one twenty to one eighty days. One twenty to 
one IT days, then we can calculate the pro that person is the productivity, that person is the employment, that person is not in the unemployment. Then the government provide here one rega. What do you mean by one rega? Means Mahatma Gandhi. National Mahatma Gandhi National Employment Guarantee Act. What was that? Huh? The Mahatma Gandhi Employment Guarantee Act in 2005. The government in which year is provided? The Manrega is cutted. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural, sorry, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act. So Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Act in 2005. So according to the Manrega, according to the Manrega, those who doesn't get any kind of the skill, those who doesn't get any kind of the work in the employment and the service and agriculture sector. For those fellas, the government is provided giving the work to the 